This video shows the soldering techniques used by Sendine Corporation. First we'll cover the tools that we use. A Weller soldering iron, Kester solder, and either a Weller PTA-8 soldering tip or the PT-08 which provides a finer tip. First, turn on your soldering station and allow it to preheat. Make sure to add water to the cleaning sponge. Remember to clean your soldering tip often. Apply solder to the soldering tip. Next, pre-tin the connector pins by touching the pin with both the soldering tip and the solder. A common mistake is to apply solder to the soldering tip and then use the tip alone to transfer solder to the connector pins. Pre-tin the wires in the same way the connector pins were tinned. Notice how often the soldering tip is removed from the shot in order to clean off excess solder. After each wire is tinned, add shrink tube to each individual wire, unless two wires are planned to be double solder to one connector pin. A useful tip is to bend around the solder so that it is close to the connector, therefore freeing your hand. Place the wire on the connector pin, apply solder to the tip, then press the tip on the connector pin and wire. Notice how he allowed the wire to move before the solder had cooled. Make sure to hold the wire steady on the connector pin until the solder has cooled for the best possible connection. Since both surfaces have been pre-tinned, when you place solder on the soldering tip and press the soldering tip on the wire and connector, it allows the solder to flow and connect the two pieces together. Note how much solder is being used on the soldering tip. Using too much solder can create a mess and make it difficult to apply shrink tube. Next, we will demonstrate a double solder connection. First, position both pre-tinned wires so that the wires are connected together. Next, add some solder to your soldering tip. Apply the solder to both wires, connecting them together. This helps both wires to stay together when they're being placed on the connector pin. Don't forget to apply shrink tube to the two connected wires before attaching it to the connector. Position both wires on the connector pin. Apply solder to the soldering tip and apply the solder to the pin and the two wires. Once all the connections have been made, remove the connector and inspect the upper and bottom portions to ensure a proper solder flow has been maintained. Move the shrink tube on top of the solder connections. Turn on your heat gun and check for the proper temperature. Then apply heat to the shrink tube to allow it to shrink over the connection points. A common mistake is to apply solder to the soldering tip and then apply solder from the tip onto the connector pins or wires. This does not allow the solder to flow properly 
Results can be achieved, but they are much more difficult to maintain. Another common mistake is to leave the soldering tip on the connection point too short or too long of a period of time. Too short creates a poor quality solder joint. Too long damages the coating on the wire. Make sure the wire is placed directly on the solder pin and not held up at an angle. Holding at an angle will not provide a proper soldering connection. Avoid touching the plastic portion of the connector with the soldering tip. This will melt the plastic on the connector. Finally, always remember to place a little bit of solder on the soldering tip before you turn it off.